This is the F650 with a absolutely ridiculously large trailer. And today I'm going to show you the quirks and features of both of them. Ding, ding, ding. Starting with the pickup truck, we're going to review its absolute size. It's pretty much the only thing notable except its size. All I have to do is bend over a little bit and I can literally crawl under. But then the trailer hitch. The trailer hitch is a quirk of its own. <coughs> it was custom designed to this truck and the truck can moving can move without moving the trailer now that's pretty impressive now we're moving on to the trailer again the size it's almost as long as a commercial jet the first thing that i really want to tell you about is that an, a really cool thing that you can get in the trailer and drive it as a car without the pickup truck. <clears throat> it's that is so cool. And then we move on to the fact that this is a trailer that has two rooms. This is one room. And this is another. But the way to get in is kind of odd. We'll turn it around, and on this side, we have a big steel door. And in the cabin of the trailer, there is a button that moves the door to the side that lets you get in. Now, you may be wondering, what's with the tire rims down there? Well, let's say that your ultra heavy thing is in the first room. Then you can literally move the tires, the entire wheel, from the back to the middle. Of course, it means that the steel, that the, that the door is going to have to stay here, but eh, who cares? And then another really cool thing in the cabin is that you can, there is a lever in the cabin that opens the back hood. And depending, and you can, and the lever measures the exact way. It isn't just a button you push, and then it opens. The lever exacts the width that you want it open. So if you're having a couple people see, sitting in there, you only want a little bit of fresh air, and you open up, then you only open it a little bit. But if you need to lower something in with the crane, um, <clears throat> now it's time to go drive this thing and give it a do. Okay, so as soon as I'm on the road, I feel that this truck does not have enough torque for a giant trailer. You might, it, it's an F650 and it's absolutely huge, but it does not have enough torque. It just doesn't. So it's not very fast. Do zero to 60 in I think 20 seconds with the trailer on. That is slow. Um, another thing I'm noticing is that I can barely see out the sides because I'm so freakishly high off the ground. This truck at the very highest point, it's eight foot six off the ground. That is ridiculous. Um, other than that, it drives pretty well. The steering, it doesn't really turn well because there's no actual steering element from the trailer unless you have, um, unless you're actually in the trailer to steer it. I mean, it can steer, it can turn a little, but you might want to get it get it fixed a more. But I'd say it's actually pretty, pretty, pretty good drive. <laughs> Getting out of the car. 
Now it's time to give the truck and the trailer together a Doug score. Starting with the weekend categories and styling, we're going to give it a Doug score. Styling is pretty good. They have It has nice designs, so it gets a 9 out of 10. Acceleration is very poor due to the due to the like zero amount of torque. It gets so it gets a 1 out of 10. Handling is not very well due to the small acceleration, so it gets a 3 out of 10. Fun factor is medium because although you can still have a wild party, it at the end of the day it is just a really big trailer. It gets a 6 out of 10. Cool factor is awesome. Is, is pretty big. You can have an awesome, a wild party in the back of the trailer. Well, you well you put in the person that you don't want to interfere with your party. You just tell them to get at the front. So and it gets a seven out of ten, making the total weekend score twenty six out of fifty. Next, we move on to the daily score. Features is pre- is pretty normal. Um. The sliding door is pretty good. It's pretty cool. The opening hood is is awesome. And then the trailer hitch is pretty cool. And it gets 6 out of 10. Comfort is not that great. Although it is... Although even if you are having a wild party in the trailer, it is just a trailer. And it gets a 3 out of 10. Quality is pretty is pretty good. Except that... Except of the poor handling and the steering issues so and it gets a six out of ten practicality is pretty is is mediocre but but still pretty high because a really big pickup truck with the um is pretty it's pretty cool um a big trailer that you can you can have a couple days stay in that and it gets a seven out of ten value was not that great and it gets a four out of ten making the total daily score of 26 making the, making the Doug score 52 out of 100 not very good